Good evening and thanks for joining us. Indiana is leading the nation in pharmacy robberies. There were 175 reported in 2015 alone. That's according to the Indiana Board of Pharmacy. It's an issue that extends its reach right here to the Wabash Valley. Now lawmakers are proposing a bill that would increase the penalties of stealing prescription drugs. News 10's Kylie Thomas looked into the proposal. She joins us now live to explain. It's tonight's top story. Kylie? Patrice Rondrell, we're here at JR's Pharmacy in Terre Haute, where they're definitely seeing the impacts of the illegal drug epidemic. But this isn't the only pharmacy in the Wabash Valley to be dealing with the drugs and crime. Today, I sat down with a local pharmacist who says he has to protect his business in order to keep his customers safe. Lynn Hostetler has seen the same families come in and out of his pharmacy in Brazil for nearly 50 years. And with each generation, his business changes. In the past few years, pharmacies like Lynn's are seeing an increase in burglaries. It's scary uh, because, uh, you know, there's not that many pharmacies. And so you, the odds are of being me. According to the Indiana Board of Pharmacy, more drugstore robberies happen in Indiana than any other state in the nation. It's an issue Kara Wilson would like to see addressed. With all the burglaries I hear about over in Terre Haute, you know, I think they really do need more human security. Now lawmakers are cracking down. Indianapolis Senator Michael Young has proposed a bill that would allow prosecutors to charge 16 and 17 year olds as adults. They use juveniles to go in and do the robbery. Well, juvenile doesn't get the same sentence that an adult does. It's one more measure to decrease the epidemic. Passing laws isn't the answer. Uh, we already have laws in the books just to enforce them. Hostetler argues the real fix is putting as many obstacles in the way of these criminals as possible. That's why you'll find cameras and alarms in his shop. He also hides some of his drugs out of sight. I've probably said before you can get into a bank easier you can get in here. As for Kara, she'll continue to be a loyal customer. From other drugstores, this one is very, very good. This one has a lot of cameras. It's got uh, people that ask a lot of questions, which I haven't you know, I'm surprised that. Because she feels safest here at her small town pharmacy. Now, Hostetler tells me actually his best defense is the fact that his pharmacy is a small town shop. He says he knows everyone coming in and everyone going out. Reporting live in Terre Haute, Kylie Thomas, News 10. Well, that's a good information. Thank you very much, Kylie. We want to add the bill passed the Senate Judiciary Committee last week. It now moves to the full Senate for further consideration. 